welcome back to our channel. It is Sunday the day. third. The day. It's the third. It's Sunday the third of March, and we've just arrived at my mum's this morning. And um, I'm gonna actually be hi, Madeline. Hi. Caught you. Hi, Freddie. Hi. Is <laughs> okay? Yeah. Looking very good. Looking very stylish there, the pair of yours. <laughs> So we've actually come to Mum's today because I'm going to be sorting a lot of my stuff out today. So I'm not sure how much we're going to be vlogging uh, while we're here because I'm going to be up to my eyes and sorting my stuff out. All the stuff that's left behind so I'm going to sort it out anyway and see how far I get. But we've come in and amazing smell coming in my mum's house. I can smell lamb and I can smell mint sauce and everything because my mum is doing a full on Sunday dinner. Like I can't... I can't even explain how excited I am for that. So it feels, oh my God, I just kind of explain how excited I actually am. Just to walk through the door and smell it. Like I wish I had smell a vision on this camera because you guys would just be absolutely salivating right now as am I. So we're gonna get cracking and then I'll come back to you in a bit. It's ready. Oh my goodness me, guys, you've got to see my dinner. There we go, look at that. Wow. Sunday lunch, courtesy of my mum. So excited. I'm just going to turn the camera on properly and show you. Look at that. We've got rose potatoes, sweet corn peas, carrots, broccoli, stuffing. We've got lamb, turkey, Yorkshire puddings, and of course, gravy. How good's that? How is it nice? Mm hmm. Yeah, thank you, Mum. Thank you, Mum. Mum, Mum. Are you glad I didn't turn the camera on soon? Man has just made a really loud bow. <laughs> but it's a sign that you really enjoyed your dinner. Yeah. Clean plate award for me, definitely. Did you enjoy yours, Mum? Yeah, lovely. Madeline, how was it? I did, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Excellent. Now, Freddie. Has got a clean plate award now. Just still have something on his plate, but <laughs> and he's had seconds of other things, so I think that still means a clean plate award. What are you gonna have after? Uh, ice cream. Ooh. So just when you think that your Sunday lunch can't get any better, I've got profiteroles <laughs> and Madeline's done me some ice cream as well. <laughs> Oh, wow! Cool You've got ice cream. Got... Madeline made you some ice cream, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big thank you to Mama for making your dinner. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, no Mum. Wow! Look at them. I think I should add that this isn't like a huge bowl. Ice. <laughs> Hi guys! Right, so as you can see it's actually starting to get dark now because it's about six o'clock. Sorry, I literally haven't vlogged very much while I've been at my mum's since I've had dinner. Um but we've just cracked on and got stuff sorted out, sorted for the charity shop, things that we just didn't need anymore, bent and things like that. So we've had a really productive afternoon, but I'm just sorry that we haven't really filmed very much. Um, so Madeline and Freddie are just currently playing what are you playing Postman Pat Postman Pat's parcel game um, and we're just getting sorted nobody's really very hungry are you surprised after the big dinner that we had um, so we're just Freddie's got a little bit of toast at the minute because that's all he fancied me and Madeline haven't even got that because we're just so full after a dinner a day um, so all I'm doing now is making sure that everything's ready for school tomorrow. Um, Madeline's uniform's on the air, I just drying now. Um, we're pretty tidy in the kitchen and things. I've got some rubbish to put out. But yeah, we're just sort of getting ready, ready for a fresh week ahead. Um, I've got my diary ready because I like to check through what's happening this week. So I'll be doing that later on. Um, I think I will actually take them in the living room with us now. I just like to start the week off fresh, ready well done you guys doing well yeah. fresh ready oh, you know no. going over knowing what i'm doing for the week coming so there we go and obviously daddy flamingo's back tomorrow so that's very exciting for everybody i've just whacked my finger 
that's all right. Um, Daddy Flamingo's back tomorrow, so everybody's excited to see him. I can't wait to see him. Um, so yeah, that's just about it for now. So after they've had a few more games, Freddie's going to be having his bath, aren't you, darling? And getting his PJs on, and then getting settled for bed, um, and then me, not be long before me and Madeline are doing the same. Are you ready, Freddie? Oh. You'll have to use some of these red and yellow ones, I think. Oh, he wants to share his parcels with you, Madeline. Oh, okay, right, that's put on a parcel yeah. for a face. Yeah. I'll put on this one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you ready, Freddy? Roll the dice. This is getting so tall. <laughs> right, what number? Five. Wow, come on then. One, Big five. Two, three, four, five. That says take off two parcels. Oh, carefully. Do you want some help? <laughs> that one's yours and this one's mine. No, not that one. <laughs> oh. no, Who's no, going to make a topple no, first? Make it off too fast, uh, silly uh, yeah. <laughs> one, two, put a parcel on. Oh. oh this is getting tense. This is more tense oh, than Jenga, this. Isn't it? You guys enjoy your game. <laughs> Hi. So Freddie's just been in the bath. And as you can see, he's just had his hair all combed through and everything, haven't you? You've got your lovely pyjamas on. What are they? Paw Patrol? Yeah. Yeah. You see, it's go time. And Freddie's decided that he wants to brush my hair. And you're doing a lovely job. Isn't he? There we go. Is that it done now? Yeah. Oh, thank you. What do you reckon, guys? Has Freddie done a good job? I think he has. Thank you very much. So, there's your milk. There you go. You've got your biscuit. Yeah. So, you sit and have your milk and biscuit. We'll watch a little bit dancing on ice before bedtime, yeah? The ice skaters? What did you say you wanted to be when you are a big boy? Uh, ice skater. So, you can watch a little bit of this and see how they do it. Okay. And then Madeline's there, Hi. looking at Cozy, my favourite onesie. It's mine though, you can't have it. <laughs> I wouldn't fade it with anyway. <laughs> so Freddie's in bed, and me and Madeline are just chilling. Madeline's just had a little bit of tea, yeah. eventually, just had some noodles. Yeah. Um, and she's currently tucking in these. Not all of them. No. She had some earlier and she's just given me a couple as well. Right? I'll be at one of them so far that I've been given. And that's all you're they right. are. And that's all I'm allowed, apparently. You're so kind. So these are Maltesers buttons. Right? Treat bag. They're supposed to be a pound. You can't see that because it's been like ripped off. But they were actually about 69 pence yeah. in yeah. B&M's and they're really tasty. This is what they look like. This is two stuck together. Oh, and they've got like the little malted pieces that you would get in Maltesers and they're really really tasty so I'm just going to show you my little table is set up in front here which can only mean one thing it's time to say goodbye to these things obviously I've already lost one well it started to lift and obviously I pulled the rest off but it is time they need a couple of weeks rest to sort themselves out um, so what I do is I soak Cotton wool in this, which is artificial nail and tip remover, pure acetone. Now, if you can't get pure acetone, you can always use nail varnish remover, which has acetone in it, like I've got one here. And you just soak the kitchen, no, not kitchen wool, cotton wool in that, wrap it round the nail, and then you put foil over the top. It just keeps the cotton wool pad in position. But the first thing I do is I use these. These are tweezermen. 
um, nail clippers. They're actually toenail clippers. Um, I've just stolen them off Jason. And the ideal for clipping down, because what I like to do is clip the nail extensions right down so you haven't got as much to get off. I then use a little emery board. Now, this one is really small, but it's really coarse. And it just basically gives the the nails, the solution, something to grip through, like rather than having just a totally smooth surface. Then, as I say, do the cotton wool, wrap it in foil and then sit for about 20 minutes and do nothing so i'm just going to do that now and then but i'll show you what i'm doing as i go because i know a lot of people were interested to see how to sorry i was keep wobbling the camera there <laughs> but that's what i'm doing just having a nice chilled sunday night freddie i don't know if i said has already gone to bed um wasn't in the best of moods um it's been a very typical toddler tonight shall we say but not all bad um, but yes, he's been, uh, well, not naughty, but mischievous and testing my patience somewhat. Just a little update. This is where we're at right now. So I've basically, um, clipped down the acrylic nails. Um, I've got cotton wool, which was soaked in acetone, which is on the nails that are there. And then I've just wrapped the foil around and I'm just going to sit, um, like this for about half an hour and then hopefully it should all kind of just melt it away um so i'll let you know what i'm getting on so i've just took the foil off this one and you can see that that is like it looks really really weird now because it's literally just disintegrated all of the acrylic and the gel polish that was on top it's just literally it's just ready to come off so i can probably oh there you go so i've just literally managed to take that off and then that little white bit is just a little bit of acrylic that's just left and there you go it's pretty easy once you um cover them with the foil and that's it all done I'll show you there there we are and the thumb so but obviously i've cut them really really short um and i'll just keep them really short for the next couple of weeks um to be fair i've had acrylics on continuously since the beginning of november um whenever they've started to grow out i've just had infills done i've had no breaks since then so november all of november december january and february so four months i've had them on for that's probably the longest stint that i ever generally do with my nails i would normally have a break so much earlier than that which in fairness i was supposed to be having a break when the november ones got done and that was because we won um sort of front row to go and see a Christmas window um, at a department store in town so I had to go and get my nails done for that so I've they've got a little bit of a sheen on it and what I've got on them is this it's can you see that there it's by OPI it's called Nail Envy Nail Strengthener um, and I've got two coats of that on and then once that was all dried off I've got this one which is also by OPI um, and that's called Arvaplex Nail and Cuticle Replenishing Oil so as you can see you know they don't they are obviously thinner than they would be at the minute um, they're not the best condition obviously um, but what I'll do what I do now is I put the OPI this one on the Nail Envy Strengthener, I'll put that on every day. Every day for the next three days. Um, in the morning, before I get ready, and at night for the next three days. And then after three days, I use nail varnish remover with no acetone in it. So acetone-free nail varnish, because acetone really, really, really does dry out your nails. So I'll use acetone-free, and I'll take all of that off, and then... I'll just file any length very, very gently, um, just with the soft side of an emery board. Um, and then I'll just start again, just build it up for three days, and I'll just keep doing that. For And honestly, even within a couple of days, you can see that your nails are just getting so, so much better. I'm not sponsored by OPI or anything like that. Um, I just really, really like using the product. So there you go. It's a little bit sad when my nails are all 
short but it's really really important to look after them as well you know um and i don't want to end up with horrible nails so it, it's all as well with that the nail envy when you put it on it dries really really quickly um so that's why i'm saying i can like literally put it on in the morning before i get ready what i normally do is i'll get up go in the bathroom get washed brush my teeth um, come back through um, i normally put that on my nails um, and then I normally like sort of open my curtains. I've got blinds as well, but I normally like open my curtains. Like things that I can do that I'm not gonna like totally damage them. I like, open my curtains. I generally find within a minute or two it's dry. It's not like a normal nail varnish at all. So there you go. I've done my nails. Good couple of weeks. Um, yeah, I've got somewhere to go with Madeline. Um, in a couple of weeks' time. But I'm hoping that. If they've grown in a little bit, um, I might just paint them. I might just put gel colour on just to keep them going. And I might try and keep my nails free of acrylics for a little bit longer this time. Because like I say, it's been a long time that I've had my acrylics on. I do want to give them a chance to recover. So there you go. So it is getting on for about 10.30 now. Just check on my TV then. Yeah, it's just about 10.30 there. Um, I'm going to get myself a drink. I'm going to watch a little bit of YouTube. And then I'm going to head off to bed. There you go. On oh, another thing, I left my camera at my mum's, so I can't, um, I should have a vlog that was going to go up at night, but some of the footage was still on my camera. So that's not going up at night, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but I will get that back tomorrow. Yeah, that's sorted. So I'm going to end today's video here. I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry there wasn't much vlog during the day, but I've hoped showing you what I do with my nails might have helped some of you guys. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to our channel. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video um, and we'll see you all again now in our next video. Bye for now.